Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rabbits and hamsters, fish, and we're not going to do this all night. What's going on guys? Welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I truly hope you guys are having the best day ever. And today I have um, not a spirit box session, but it is a video regarding the spirit box session. And I know you guys... Um, some of you guys on Facebook, if you guys haven't added me on Facebook, by the way, links in the description. Follow me on all my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and uh, also subscribe if you haven't already. But what's going on, guys? So anyway, back to the, the topic. Um, some of you guys over on Facebook will know what I'm about to talk about here. I'm pretty sure you, sure you all know since it's in the title, but I went into a little more detail on Facebook. I posted a status about it. Anyway, um, so as you guys know, we have been doing spirit box sessions all week, like seven days, I think. And um, in fact, I think today would have been the seventh day if I had done it today, but I'm not. Um, but you know, we had a lot of like interaction. There was a lot of responses, uh, especially the first day. Like the first day was really good, like a lot of responses. And um, the second day, it was not so great. Third day, again, not so great. Fourth day, I mean the second and third and fourth, I started to get really cold, like really, really ice cold, like my fingers and everything, just holding the, the spirit box, my fingers were going numb. Um, so it was, it was definitely something else. Like it was like, I, I could feel it coming over me like this real intense cold. Now on the fourth day, if you guys remember, I had like something happen to me. I thought I was being touched by like a spirit, like maybe they were trying to show me. I thought it may, might've been through frustration that they were trying to show me that they're here and that, you know, it was a way of showing me that. Um, I didn't feel at all and uh, threatened or anything like that. Um, but as I said to you guys, I remember feeling like that intense cold came over me again. Then I felt this like pain. I mean, the first thing I noticed was like, there was like heat around my back in like two patches right here and right here. But there was also like a pain right here um, and my chest started to feel really tight. Now that was very odd. I've never felt a feeling like that before. Um, and I was just like, okay, it's probably, you know, a spirit's trying to show me that it's here. And it stopped almost instantly after we stopped the session. It stopped. It was gone. That was pretty intense. Now, what, what I couldn't understand was throughout this uh, spirit box session slash series that I've been doing, I just spit, um, I did notice like there was a lot of like basically mumble jumble like I could make out words that were pretty clear a lot of them were pretty clear um, but it just didn't make any sense like it, it was confusing me now I noticed in yesterday's video I didn't notice at the time because when I'm sitting here and I'm you know playing the the the, the spirit box and it's like going I can't really understand things like right then and there I I tend to notice things like what what's being said when I go down and I edit the video and I like you know stretch out the audio so it slows it down I can really get a good listen to what I think it sounds like um, and it never seemed to make sense I couldn't make sense of any messages or anything like that now um, last night's video changed that for me slightly now this is gonna sound crazy but I've heard that with things like a Ouija board or a spirit box or anything that you can use to open up that dimension to the other side, um, you're, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can summon a certain person, whether you have something that belongs to them or something that, you know, means something to them in a way. Now, as you guys know, I've always been a Titanic enthusiast. It's almost like a religion to me. I've always been very passionate about it, not just the movie, but like, I think I've watched every single documentary on the Titanic ever. I've always loved the ship and the history of the ship and just the whole story. Um, it never gets old to me. Now, right here, right off camera, I have a Titanic model right there. And I have a Titan. That's one that I made out of a vacuum cleaner box I, a long time ago. In fact, I'll show you guys. I just hope the focus doesn't go away. All right, so I made this. It's not perfect, but you can clearly see what I was going for. Um, this is a model Titanic. And uh, yeah, I pretty much made that out of literally nothing. Just like it was a vacuum cleaner in this box. Um, obviously I cut it up to make it this small. Now, the reason it's up here in this attic 
is because I managed to get an actual Titanic model, like a full-sized one. You guys have seen that too. Now, um, that model I do have because it's an actual model. I have it on display in my room. I have a whole bunch of like Titanic memorabilia, stuff like that. Um, there is also somewhere in this attic, there is a coin that is my grandmother's and it is a coin from the Titanic. It's like, it's it's got like paperwork, like um, documents with it and stuff. It's in this like frame. And I don't know what coin it is. I think it might be a quarter or, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a quarter and it's like, it's got the date on it, 1912. It's a little rusted, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I don't even know where she got that from, but that's up here somewhere. Um, again, I've showed you guys that. There's also, like, I have so much Titanic memorabilia, like, a lot of things, like, I could possibly collect. I collected it. Like, if I see something Titanic, I get it. Um, now, I'm explaining that because this is where it got me, like, you know, thinking this could be a possibility. Reviewing last night's video of the Spirit Box session, I noticed there was some things that were very, like, odd to me. And the first thing that came to me was when you can clearly hear, um, uh, it sounds like a Scottish male voice. And it says, look there's a boat like in a, you can do that was a bad accent but like you can hear like it sounds like a scottish male saying look there's a boat and that was one thing that when i heard that i automatically thought of the titanic now pretty sure you all know the story of the titanic it came from the uk so it had a lot of like english scottish irish and other europeans on there too um and uh also americans too as you guys know the ship was going from the uk to america so it kind of got me thinking like, oh, wow, that's weird. Like there's a Scottish accent coming through, a male accent saying, look, there's a boat. And as you know, there was not enough boats on the Titanic. So I can imagine somebody on the Titanic would have said that. There was like, look, there's a boat, get to it kind of thing or something like that. Um, I About three or four times you hear in that session the word boat. And it sounds like a Scottish person saying it like, there's a boat so there's look the boat like that it sounds like that and uh there's a, a number of voices like one of them i put axe take or something like that it might have just been an accent but it could have possibly been mistake now the titanic was a, a mistake like they should never have been going fast when they were told not to and stuff like that um a whole bunch of controversy but i, I thought possibly it, it could be mistake and then there's like voices saying like, please help. You guys heard those like, please help and stuff like that. And a female voice clear as anything in the session yesterday says America. Now I just thought of that as weird. Like everything that was said in that session just made me think of the Titanic. Now I don't know if I'm just overthinking things or maybe like, cause I've opened this, like with me being so passionate about the Titanic and I have all this Titanic stuff in my house. And I'm doing these spirit box sessions and stuff like that. Maybe it's opening, you know, it's opening a doorway for the victims of the Titanic to come through. Maybe it's attracting them. All the stuff that I have and the fact that I'm doing spirit box is attracting them to talk. Um, and I thought about that and I was like, that is really crazy. And then you can hear somebody say, Marvin, look. As if to say, like, look, like it could be look at the fireworks that the ship was shooting that night, or look, there's a boat, or look, there's the, the Carpathia coming to rescue us. It could be something like that. I thought about, um, I want to do, because we got a whole bunch of different names. Now, I want to do some research on the passengers of the Titanic to see if these names match up with anybody. Me and my friend Brittany were actually going through, like, I was talking to my friend Brittany last night, um, and we were both researching the Titanic and its passengers. There is, or there was somebody who died on the Titanic with, with the, the surname Marvin. So I don't know if that's, you know, that's something, um, but you can clearly hear Marvin, look. Now, one thing I noticed in yesterday's session was that the voices seem to all have a sound of exhaustion or desperation in their voices. Like, and I can imagine it being a very exhausting and, you know, desperate situation to be in the Titanic um, and like you can hear there's a, a bunch of things I can't think but also when I did the EVP some of you guys were commenting saying you could hear sounds of like you know clicking and clacking and banging and stuff which I'm imagining there was a lot of that going on but a lot of you guys also said not a lot of you guys some of you guys also said that you could hear the sound of like the ocean 
like you could hear that and um, with the EVP audio and I thought I didn't notice that but I thought it was pretty cool that you guys noticed it um, but then it got me thinking about the experience I had the night before like with the the tightness of breath like I couldn't breathe right and I was icy cold and then I thought these are symptoms of hypothermia, which is what those people, and I even said that in one of my videos like a few days ago, I was like, I should probably get out of here before I get hypothermia because it's so cold. Um, so it's just strange how it come to me now, like to yesterday, that I was like, this could be symptoms. Some of you guys said you could be experiencing like the last moments of somebody's death, like the sensations they had. And I thought, this is like, symptoms of hypothermia like not being able to breathe tightness around the chest ice cold like fingers and everything's going numb and i thought holy crap now i don't know if this is just me you know making something out of this like putting a puzzle together and it's like totally wrong but it's very interesting how coincidental it is and uh, i just wanted to talk about it to you guys and um i'm definitely going to do more research and stuff like that with the names that i got and titanic history um, like the passengers and the victims and uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it tonight And uh, I will get back to the spirit box sessions tomorrow um, And I thought maybe you know if I if I bring something, you know Titanic related into the session with me and call for the Titanic victims Because um, I could also notice there was a lot of frustration in the voices that were coming through So maybe it's because I couldn't make sense of it, but if I do that maybe it will you know it will strengthen the these spirits if it is truly somebody from the, the Titanic. I don't know. I don't know. But I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Ask what you guys think in the comments section. And also I have some good news. I just ordered some um, studio lights. So I'm going to have like a professional lighting in here because uh, I don't really I use a couple of lights but they're just regular lights. Nothing special. Um, so it should be like I mean, I have over 100,000 subscribers. I should have kicked up the game a long time ago. I should have got some professional lighting. Um, but yeah, that's, that'll be good. Uh, hopefully it'll make my videos a lot more clear and crisp and, you know, that perfect white balance color. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your theories in the comment section. And if you guys didn't see the, you know, the videos of the sessions, just got to keep an eye on the camera. Um, go watch them and let me know what you guys think in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Hit that like button down below to help me grow my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember the most important thing of all, chase your dreams. I love you all.